Okay, so I um, decided to make a small tutorial to help everyone in the rain a bit. Um, I'm using the uh, eSports race setup, wet tires of course, 6 degrees of wing, um, 5 on the front anti-roll bars, 10 on the ABS and the TC. Kept brake bias as standard. I tried running it a bit lower, but I found that it can, I'll probably up it a bit higher even to give it more front bias. Because that kind of, it, it worked quite nicely. Um, and then on the rear, um, uh, only one anti-roll bar setting. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the only changes I, I can really make. So I changed everything I could uh, for the rain. So important for T1 is watch my braking inputs. You want to brake just before the double point, but off off the racing line. So this is the racing line. You want to brake slightly off it. Um, if I go to my cockpit view, um, yeah, I would uh, in the dry. I would brake um, when I'm about here before the red. Um, so before the red. Um, yeah, it fence part where you can, I think you can bop your head through here. Um, usually I break just before down the dry, but in the wet, break a bit earlier. Um, turn in, hit the curb a little bit, you can because the tires are unloaded at that side. Then accelerate out, avoid um, avoid the, uh, the curb, because I mean, the curb is slippery, and the outside is slippery in general, so you can see here it's a little bit darker. Um, so that's the normal racing line, which will be more slippery, so you kind of want to stay off it. Um, be careful here, because these are all painted white lines, and you want to stay off painted white lines as much as possible. So it's a bit annoying, so you lose some slight grip when you go over these. Avoid this line at all cost. Uh, this one is really dangerous. Um, so yeah, just go straight over there. Then on the run to a rouge, path of least resistance like you know it you're going in a straight line and for a rouge you can see the normal racing line will turn left here um, but I stay a little bit wider because I'm turning left the right tires will be uh, loaded um, so brake half on the racing line essentially um, but then as soon as I hit everything I remove input so I remove the brake um, because I'm going over the slippery part um, and then I turn in a little bit on the on the actual racing line. Um, like you don't want to turn in as much because you will spin out. Uh, it's incredibly slippery, so you kind of want to aim. Like I said, oh, the house is a little bit to the right here. Sorry, uh, but for the left grandstand, essentially, um, the left hand side of the grandstand, just go straight. And here you will have some grip. And then you can turn in, and here you have to grip. Make sure to avoid the curb on exit. Um, it's really dangerous. Um, there's sand and water here, very slippery. And also, yeah, you can see I slightly touched the white line, and the car steps out a tiny bit. Also, avoid this curb. Um, with the painted white line here, choose your side. Um, when a car is coming out of pits, make sure you go all the way to the outside and do not put your tyres on this line. Just drive straight over it like I do here. Or if you're on the outside, just yeah, stick to the outside. Um, come all straight. I mean, straight line. So a little bit for the middle and brake quite early. Half braking pressure. In the dry, I would brake just before the curbing starts. Uh, especially in the slipstream even earlier because you have more speed but in the wet um, half on the brake turn in uh, general rule of thumb just avoid the standing water on the inside um, and then that's kind of the fastest line um, with most corners as, as long as you avoid the inside standing water there will be some grip so for all of these corners um, just stay in the middle of the track really um, there is enough grip because um, while your inside tyres might still be on what is technically the racing line, your outsides won't be and that, the outside tyres are what matters because that's where the weight is on. Um, so they need grip, they need the I mean, the, the rough part of the tarmac where there isn't any grip normally, but because there isn't any grip normally that means there is a lot of grip in the rain, relatively speaking of course. So again, 
middle of the track in the corner. You can hit the curb slightly, then go all over it because you'll lose grip, especially on the Astro Turf. Um, but this curb is actually relatively friendly. Not too friendly, but you can hit it if you need to. Stay in the middle of the track um, for, I believe it's called Ravage. Um, there's quite a decent bit of grip on the outside here, again, of the Sunlit Racing Line. Just stick to this outside, your outside tires will have a lot of grip. And just keep that round all the way through. The, um, the racing line just kind of stays in the middle, so there's enough grip on the outside. Um, then no name, very difficult. The two different lines both work. You just have to be really careful. You can see that I don't really do anything on the throttle and on the brake mid corner. Um, you can stay more to the inside. Um, doesn't really matter for this corner because you don't want to have any inputs at all. Um, because as soon as you hit the brake or hit the throttle, you will spin. That's how slippery this corner is, because it's downhill. There's only really one line you can take, uh, so it's really tricky. This curb is not too bad in these conditions, um, but again, it's rather not touch it. Then Puon. Puon is quite difficult, but at the same time quite easy. It's difficult to go fast, but it's also a, a little bit more easy than other corners, because it's not as you won't spin as easily because um, the normal racing line is still quite grippy. Again, you see me here uh, not having any inputs on the throttle or brake. Um, well, mid-corner, very important to do that. Um, and then once the corner is kind of over, once I've already rotated, that's when I hit the throttle. Um, I made a small mistake here where I touched the curb, the white line. Um, but that did send me on the outside for here, which gave me quite nice grip. Um, but you just have to experiment a bit with Puon. You can also stick to the inside, it's also quite viable, even though that's what a normal racing line is. These high speed corners are just quite difficult. Again, try to stay off the curb, not the worst thing in the world. Avoid this puddle here, I slightly hit it, slightly unsettled the car under braking. And the same with Lacombe's, just avoid the, um, the inside standing water and you have some grip. Um, second part of Fanius is a bit more difficult because your racing line is a little bit more tricky with the actual dry racing line. Um, you'll slide a bit more. Um, so yeah, Fanius, the second, the first part is quite doable, but the second part you have to really watch out. It's a lot trickier. Uh, so just be careful, be aware of the oversteer. Then into the double right-hander, quite tricky. I haven't quite figured out my preferred line yet in the wet. You can take the normal racing line on the inside, um, which seems to have all right grip. Again, just avoid the inside. Uh, but you can also take a bit of a wider line, carry a bit more speed, but just be careful of the exit curb. Very slippery, you do not want to touch this one. Um, especially once you get a little bit more of it. I touched it here and then this lap was fine. But on the previous lap, I hit it a bit more and I had some proper wheel spin. Um, second part, I like to stay a bit wide here. This corner is incredibly tricky. Um, so you do not want to have be on the inside. Um, again, you can kind of touch the exit curve, but not too much. Um, so yeah, just be wide again. Um, then on the run down to Blanchemont, this is very sketchy especially when it starts to rain a bit more. Uh, this here will be very tricky. Sometimes you can do it flat, but I try to lift off a little bit here because you understeer wide because there isn't any grip here. Because if you're too much to the outside, you won't make the corner and you will hit the painted line, which is you don't want to do. Um, and then this is also painted, uh, so very slippery. But then on the inside, you will then cross over the racing line and you'll just spin round. This is kind of a safe place to spin though, and the chances of you actually hitting a wall are quite low, I found, <laughs> through trial and error. Um, but still, you don't want to, of course, spin. Then, break. Um, very sketchy, this. Um, just break, hope and pray. Uh, take a little bit of a wider line because of the standing water, and then get back on the throttle. Um, you don't want to hit the curb, very slippery. Um, just try and avoid it. Uh, when you hit it, just lift off, no brakes, just roll and pray. <laughs> um, but yeah, try to avoid it. 
uh, brake and lift off mid corner and then once you've rotated uh, get on the accelerator again but carefully here you can break at your normal braking point really um, after the white line because you're carrying a lot less speed uh, stay in the middle-ish of the track um, you can hit the first curb a little bit but you can't hit the second curb because of the standing water which will kind of um, force you out wide um, so avoid the second curb and then get on the accelerator avoid the exit curb and that is a lap around wet spa hope this has helped you a bit if you have any questions you can ask me please practice because it's incredibly sketchy oh yeah here I went a bit wide for instance don't do that <laughs> will issue quite a lot of time.